Hi, just a quick video here. Uh, one of a whole bunch I hope to shoot on just common sense basic stuff that people sometimes gloss over or if you're looking for a, a decent honest answer about people's experience with stuff. Uh, in this case the subject is water bottles or you know just a way to carry around a decent personal supply of water when you're out hiking, walking, camping or to have a bottle or two to put in your vehicle. Uh, I'll cover water filtration and purification as well as what the differences are in a different video but this video will be just about some of the basic water bottle types as well as whether or not the really expensive water bottles like hydro flasks are worth it for what you're getting for the you know really significant price that you're paying. Well from the top I'll go kind of starting in the in the middle of the pack. I know at least one of these water bottles, last time I checked, wasn't available currently on the market, although kind of ironically, it's a pretty good water bottle. Um, actually, in, I was surprised that a lot of the less expensive water bottles that I've found, and some of which I own, are not nearly as bad as some people like to think, and the really, really expensive uh, water bottles aren't always that much better. This is probably the cheapest water bottle um, that I have. We bought these, I think, Walmart or Bymart. Uh, again, my daughter picked this out because she wanted a bigger water bottle than the pink one. Um, it's thin, it's BPA-free. I'm guessing it's a Tristan plastic bottle. Uh, you know, it holds 32 ounces of water. It has a somewhat primitive seal. I'm sure that this would do much better with a better lighting setup. Um, but it does hold water. It doesn't seem to leak, but it does warm up almost instantly if this is left at all in light. You know, we I think we paid $5 for that water bottle, maybe... 10 with like a, I don't know, a kid's survival kit or fishing kit in it or whatnot. But it's inexpensive, not particularly impressive, but it also didn't break. I definitely wouldn't attempt to use this cap retention as any kind of a lanyard. Although um, many times I've caught my daughter walking around the house with it full, holding it like that. The next water bottle, and another kind of unusual one is this one. I picked this one up. I want to say we were visiting Best Buy and they had these in the, you know, the impulse buy and my wife always tells me she can't stand the smell or the taste of um, water that's in metal containers. Even the high grade 18.8 stainless she says even if they're kept clean she doesn't care for the, the taste that she says it adds to the water. Whether there's a, a flavor that's significant or not, I mean, I, I believe her, so I would imagine there's probably some sort of a flavor difference, but I personally don't detect or don't mind the difference. However, this uh, bright green water bottle is glass. Um, it's fairly sturdy, I mean, and of course it doesn't leave any flavor at all. It's easy to wash, hard to damage, and this water bottle had a, a second silicon seal to go inside the lid. It seals on well and again it holds water perfectly fine. It has a flip top lid and a secondary bale handle but I wouldn't really recommend trying to carry the water bottle uh, by this handle any more than you know across a room or through your house. Uh, she says it doesn't leave any flavor in the water and the seal does work, although with any of these with a the flip top lid, pressing it down securely seems to be the uh, Achilles heel or depending on how you look at it, the magic sauce that makes it worth anything. This was not cheap. This one with glass I think was $15 and this was back in 2015 money. So you'd probably expect it, I don't know, $15 to $20 to find it in 2017. Moving on to the proverbial 800 pound gorilla in the room. This is my personal uh, hydro flask. It is 32 ounces. It has a very durable construction. 18.8 stainless steel. It doesn't seem to have any difficulty with 
uh, retention. It's very, very stout. The only thing about it that is unimpressive has been the fact that when you close it, if the lid is more than, um, you're closer than, you know, say an inch from the top, Sometimes it doesn't want to unseal, and that has made it possible for me to actually have to twist this significantly harder than I should, and it also made it difficult to get any kind of legitimate uh, level out of it. So even though you can fill it up to here, filling it down to about here usually makes a better uh, seal that you can release without any frustration. It is a vacuum insulated flask, so only superior to the others in terms of holding whatever is hot or cold in it. It's supposed to be for water, but I know people that put, uh, you know, coffee or other things in them. It's double walled stainless, and I mean, it's a great water bottle, but this is $50, which is an awful lot of money for something that's supposed to just hold water. Next up, I guess I will deal with the green lines. These are remarkable water bottles. I know it would be like the last thing you'd think. This is a single wall, 18.8 stainless, no insulation. These water bottles are nothing fancy. We got these at Bimart, I think for, oh geez, eight dollars, maybe ten dollars. They're just one piece of stainless and I have the second one here to show both the top. And this is the personal water bottle that I had and used before um, that I got the Hydro Flask and it has been beat to death. Uh, dropped out of the back of trucks, rolled on the ground, bounced in the driveway, uh, but it keeps on working and of course being food grade stainless it's an excellent water bottle. Uh, again, my wife says that glass bottles are the only ones that don't have any kind of a taste and she's got a better sense of taste and smell than I do. However, I don't notice anything with this, especially not if you keep it clean. I would definitely plan on not storing it filled with water unless you put a single drop of bleach in it or something. Um, otherwise, it's a great bottle and the price is excellent, especially for something that isn't prone to really cracking uh, if you drop it. Uh, I wouldn't hedge my bets if it was being dropped on razor sharp rocks, but for most purposes and for $8, it's, uh, it's a pretty damn good bottle. This is a strong lid. Uh, it has a little tiny lanyard hole. I wouldn't use that. I'd just tie my paracord or whatever through the center which is reasonably strong. The only exception to these bottles quality, especially for price, uh, especially considering it has a silicon seal, is the threads. Again, uh, lighting here, forgive me. The thread depth and the way that this is stamped threads wise varies from bottle to bottle. So if you're gonna buy one, it might be worthwhile to, when you have it in the store, I mean, pick it up, tug on it, mess with it a little bit and see if it's one that's good. We own, I think, four or five different ones like this, and only one of them has a problem, and it's a smaller 28-ounce uh, version, whereas these big 40 or 44-ounce models don't seem to have that issue. Uh, last but not least, this is another bottle I personally uh, use. It's a little smaller. I think it's 20, 24 ounces. Normally, this still is a sticker. Um, it has an unusual open and close mechanism on it uh, to put water in it. It has a compound seal, again silicon and plastic, and a, a heavy lanyard ring. It's definitely made of Tristan plastic, um, but this is how it's opened and closed. And that seems to work pretty well, the exception being if you haven't opened the water bottle in a day or two, especially if there's been a lot of uh, heat cycling on the bottle, uh, it tends to stick a little bit and sometimes make it a touch more difficult to open than say just unscrewing one. Um, the other nice thing is you can fill this one from a slow source without having to take the lid off if you were intending to, although I don't know under what circumstance you might want to do that. Uh, it's a good bottle, but again, not cheap. I want to say this water bottle was 15 or $20. It was bought at the local uh, Ace Hardware. I don't know if they still have them. I looked one of these up on the internet a few months ago and I couldn't find this model. However, a similar Tristan plastic bottle from Stanley is probably still on the market. Well, looking them all over, uh, is I used all of these bottles, with the exception, of course, of the green one, which is the one my wife uses all the time. 
for dollars spent and for headaches, the Green Line or the Lifeline Green bottles are excellent. At under 10 bucks, they hold a lot of water and they have a pretty good seal and lid. If I were to recommend anything for a person who wanted to carry these long distance, if they won't slip into the pocket on a backpack or hunting pack or whatnot, the problem becomes how do you retain them. I definitely think you could theoretically carry it like this, you know, for short distances, but again, none of these have a lanyard that's really serious enough for hooking it to your gear and then hiking 30 miles through the woods. I would recommend some sort of a cage or a bag that itself was sturdy enough to hold the water bottle uh, like an old canteen cover and that that would be the easiest way to go about carrying it if you can't somehow slip it into your bag but when it's cranked down where there's very little uh, gap here this holds water and holds seal just fine no I have not used any of these bottles to carry fuel I don't know I think probably the seal would not handle that some people carry denatured alcohol fuel in plastic bottles but I would think the more traditional hot sauce squirt bottle style would be better than trying to adapt a water bottle especially if you don't know how the plastic in question will handle it anyway and again if I find anything interesting about that I will post that in an upcoming video have a good day